This is the 12th part of the tutorial series where we make a low poly vehicle for Unreal Engine 4. Link in the description to see the result of the completed tutorial series. Also, this tutorial is available in written format. Link to it into the description. Start with a new LMMS project. In the song editor window remove all tracks except the triple oscillator track. Double click at the start of the track to make a new segment and open it in the piano roll window. Make a whole note at the C2. Enable looping playback. Open triple oscillator general settings. Set first oscillator volume to 60. Set first oscillator course value to minus 4. Set second and third oscillator course values to minus 24. Set both oscillator interactions to use phase modulation and set the first oscillator to use a triangle wave. Create a new FX channel and add an amplifier effect to it. Increase the amplifier volume to the maximum and set the triple oscillator FX channel to the first one. Clone the triple oscillator track until you have four tracks in total. Give a name for each track. For the first duplicate track, change the first oscillator course value to 0 and the second and third oscillator course values to minus 20. For the second duplicate track, change the first oscillator course value to 2 and the second and third oscillator course values to minus 18. each track as an individual sound. Set track that you want to export to play solo. Then in the file menu click export. Set the file name and location, and check export as loop checkbox. Export all other tracks in the same way. These exported sounds still will not sound like perfect loops, so we need to do some adjustments to them using software named Audacity. Import one of the sounds into the new Audacity project. Press Shift plus Space or hold Shift and click the Play button to loop the sound. Right now we can hear a click sound at the end of the loop. Zoom in on the audio's waveform by holding Ctrl and scrolling the mouse wheel. We can see that the audio waveform starts around the middle line of the track and it has some kind of pattern to it. We also see that waveform ends way below the track's middle line. To fix click sound we need to look at the waveform start pattern. And then look for a similar pattern at the end of the waveform and cut it before the pattern starts, so it would make a perfect loop. Now 
when we loop sound, we don't hear a click sound anymore and can't really tell where the loop ends. Now this sound is ready for exporting. Remove the current sound by closing it, and then repeat the same steps for the all other sounds. Import a sound. Look at the waveform start pattern. Find a similar pattern at the end and cut the sound before the pattern starts, so it would make a perfect loop. Export the sound and continue the same thing for the rest sounds. Now sounds are ready to get imported into our Unreal Engine project. Import the sounds in the Unreal Engine project. Create a sound queue. Open the sound queue and drag imported engine sounds into it. Arrange them like shown in the video and then make them loopable by checking the looping checkbox while all sound nodes are selected. For each sound node, connect a continuous modulator node, and then for each node set pitch modulation parameters as shown in the video. Add a crossfade by param node and connect all continuous modulator nodes to it, and then connect its output to the sound cue output's input. Change the crossfade node's parameters as shown in the video.
create a sound attenuation asset. Open it and change values in it as shown in the video or however you like. Open Engine Sound Q Asset and change its attenuation settings to just created sound attenuation asset. This will change the vehicle engine sound to be three-dimensional. In the vehicle's blueprint add an audio component. Set it to a place where you want your engine sound from. Also, set the engine sound components sound to our previously created sound cue. In the event graph at the end of the event tick add blueprints that will update our sound RPM parameter. The vehicle's engine sound is set up. Make sure to like and subscribe, if you want to see more videos like this.